The brain, small yet powerful, takes up only 2% of our body's mass. Remarkably, it consumes 20% of the glucose coursing through our blood. This glucose is vital, fueling nearly every brain function, from keeping us conscious to powering our breaths. Unlike other organs, the brain doesn't need insulin to absorb this glucose. It relies on a special transporter, permitting glucose to pass the blood-brain barrier, irrespective of insulin levels. Daily, the brain requires about 120 grams of glucose, equating to 480 calories. This need remains constant, regardless of physical activity. When we engage in challenging mental tasks, such as intense learning or problem-solving, the brain's glucose consumption can surge by 20 to 50 percent. Moderate physical exercise can also modestly increase this uptake. Specific intellectual activities have unique effects on glucose consumption. For instance, memorizing sequences or reading and answering questions about a text can heighten glucose uptake in the prefrontal cortex by 50%. Mental arithmetic boosts consumption by 20 to 30 percent and language learning by 15 to 20 percent. Despite these increases, the overall glucose usage of the brain does not dramatically change, whether we are involved in mental activities or at rest. However, consistently high blood glucose levels can harm the brain, especially in conditions like diabetes. The primary culprit is oxidative stress, where glucose generates free radicals, damaging cells. This process can trigger inflammation, harming neurons and blood vessels. The resultant vascular damage impairs the brain's oxygen supply, exacerbating the harm. In diabetes, prolonged elevated glucose levels can lead to serious complications, such as diabetic encephalopathy. This condition can manifest as cognitive impairment, heightened dementia risk, stroke, and other neurological issues. Defining a safe glucose level for brain health is crucial. Simply put, a glycated hemoglobin level below 6.4% indicates minimal risk of brain damage. Above 7%, the risk escalates significantly.